पूरा पढ़ने में बड़ी वाड़ी पूरा पढ़ने में स्टूडेंट्स हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून टीचर गुड आफ्टरनून हेलो एवरीबॉडी ओके स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर इंग्लिश क्लास दिस इज अ न्यू वीक सो आई विश यू द बेस्ट deseándoles lo mejor pues para esta nueva semana que es exámenes para ustedes en materias de carrera que todo les vaya súper y no solamente los exámenes sino también todo lo que hayan programado y se hayan propuesto para para dentro de esta misma, ¿no? Eh, vamos a empezar una nueva semana de labores, un poco irregular porque algunos eh, van a tener inconsistencias para poderse conectar debido a los exámenes, otros llegarán un poquito atrasados, otros querrán irse un poquito antes, pero bueno, vamos a tratar de, de completar el programa, eh, la planificación pues de esta semana, ¿no? So, um, today we have the... the Lesson 1.4. 1.4. And as you can see, we have Home Sweet Home. This is the name of this unit. And what about this unit? In this unit, we are going to be talking about our house and the things that we can find into our house. Okay. And we are not going to talk about specifically parts of the house. We are going to talk about things that are into the house. So I would like to know if you can exactly remember what are the parts of the house. Uh, Natalia Cepeda, do you remember one part of the house? For example, uh, the bathroom. Bathroom is a part of the house. What other part of the house do you remember? Natalia Cepeda. What part of the house do you remember? Uh, two. Tell me one part of the house, not just the, the pictures that you can see in the screen. One part of the house that you can remember. <laughs> one part, one part of the house. Las partes de mi casa. Tell me one. Una. Ay, ah, ay, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, chicken. Chicken. Chicken is a part of the house. Es que no lo entiendo. Pues, y... Chicken. Gallí, pollito, chicken. Pero no es, no es este, cocina. Chicken no. Chicken es pollo. Kitchen. Kitchen. Es que no lo entiendo. <laughs> 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 Yo soy, you know, soy... No worries, no worries. This is the way that you are going to learn. When I was a student, I said the same. When I was a student, I confused a lot with the kitchen. I was stressed with my exams, because I didn't have to do it. You're stressed, and the exams are part of your life. With the responsibility, no, it's pure. If you have to do it, you have to do it. If you have to do it, you have to do it. You have to do it. Y a trabajar ah. a mano. Trabajar en Excel y trabajar a mano no es lo mismo. Pues en Excel solamente cambio los números y se cambia solito, pues el ejercicio. Pero yo imagino que han de practicar en clase. Claro, pues en Excel, no a mano. Ay, ah, ahora, ahora le toca hacer a mano. Claro. Pero a mano pues. es más, más fácil todavía. Sí, pero eh, los cálculos y todo eso. Hay bueno. que hacerlo a mano, por eso. Por ahí, sí, 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 está bien. Chévere, mucha suerte. Okay, so you said kitchen, Alexander Basurto, you can tell me another part of the house. Alexander. Present. Tell me another part of the house, mister. Garage. Garage, okay. Crystal. Crystal. Sí, One part of the house. Uh, bedroom. Bedroom, okay. Liliana Malusin. Teacher. One part of the house. Uh, balcony. Sorry. Hola, balcony. Balcony, balcony. balcony. Okay, balcony, perfect. Jordi Onofre. Study. 
study, ok, un estudio, puede ser Romero, Héctor Romero. One part of your house. Nice. Sorry, can you repeat? Okay, I didn't understand. So, as you can see now, from letter A to letter J, we have some uh, some things, some objects, or some parts of the house that we can know. Okay, we are going to listen and pay attention to the pronunciation, and then we are going to be we are going to be matching in the correct in the correct parts of the of the numbers. Okay, for example, we have the letter A roof, the letter B kitchen, the letter C bathroom, the letter D fence, the letter E dining room, the letter F garage, the letter G balcony, the letter H yard, the letter I stairs, and the letter J study. Ok, study es estudiar, pero también como parte de la casa pues sería un estudio, un estudio o un espacio de, para, para estudiar, ¿no? Tal como lo hemos adoptado ahora en esta pandemia. Eh, ok, what about the number one? John Macías, can you tell me what is the number one, please? Dining room. Ok, the letter E, dining room, perfect. Dayeli Peña Herrera, can you tell me the number two? Balcony. Balcony, okay, thank you. The letter G. Maria Belen Figueroa, the number three. Bathroom. Bathroom, the letter C, thank you. Very good. Mariusi Chacón. Chacón. Gracias, Mr. Hello, Miss. The number four. Sí, ya estoy bien, estoy bien, Natati. What's the number four? Okay, the number four is the letter H, yard. Yard. What does it mean, yard, in Spanish? Patio. Patio. You're the number the number five. Eh. Fence. Is the letter A, roof. ¿Qué significa la roof? Fachada. O techo. Techo, muy bien, techo. Number six, kitchen. Sorry, number six is the... Is the study, sorry. Number seven. Garage. Garage, perfect. Garage. Number eight, kitchen. And the number nine, fence. And the number 10, stairs. Okay, let's listen now the pronunciation. Pero está mal, pues, este, mister. Dos I ahí. Esta es la J, la C es la J. Ah, pero se parece I. Parece I, yo también confundí el comienzo. Unit <laughs> Home Sweet Home Vocabulary 1. E. Dining Room 2. G. Balcony 3. C. Bathroom 4. H. Yard 5. A. Roof 6. J. Study. 7. F. Garage. 8. B. Kitchen. 9. D. Fence. 10. I. Stairs. Unit 1. 4. Home Sweet Home. Vocabulary. 1. E. Dining Room. 
Two. G. Balcony. Three. C. Bathroom. Four. H. Yard. Five. A. Roof. Six. J. Study. Seven. F. Garage. Eight. B. Kitchen. Nine. D. Fence. Ten. I. Stairs. Okay, did you complete the exercise? So we continue with the next. So we have, look at the picture and guess, where does the woman live? Why is she lowing? So you have to guess, you're going to, you're going to, to tell me why is she lowing, okay? But where are you going to share that answers? Let me share with you right now, one space in, going to go to Google, let me go down from here. One minute to share with you something. Okay, in this moment, I'm going to share with you one link in order to complete the, what I, what I ask you by a, by a paper, by a digital paper in Jamboard. If you were with me in the first model, you know that, I know that you have worked before with this, Jamboard app. So I'm going to create one else. And I'm going to share with you this one. Compartir. Oh, perdón, chicos, no sé qué ha pasado con el, con el acceso. Solamente está para la organización donde pertenece. Ok, vamos a hacerlo en el chat. Let me come back. What are you going to answer in the chart right now is what I ask you. So we have to guess about the, the woman that is lowing. And we have to guess where does she live. We're going to guess where she lives. Ok, according to the picture, where you can imagine that she lives. Where does she live? Think for a minute. Where does she live? Huh? Profe, no estará conversando. Sorry. Where she live? You have to write here in the chat. No le envíen, no envíen las respuestas para todos. Envíen a, eh, por privado, ¿sí? Aquí en el chat de Zoom. Reenvíen, envíenme sus respuestas acerca de las dos preguntas pues, que nos pide aquí la, la, el ejercicio. Where does the woman live? Where does the woman live? And why is she loving? Why is she loving? You have two minutes to answer this, okay? Here in the chat.
hurry up, please. Your answers in the chat. Why is she allowing? Thank you, Maria Belen, for your answer. Thank you, Liliana. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, Natalia. Okay, she's talking on the phone in the room of her house. Thank you, young Macias. Very good. So now we're going to check our answers, okay? We have listen, read, and check your answers. Vamos a leer, vamos a escuchar, y chequeamos si nuestra respuesta estuvo bien. Miren el diálogo. Beth and Chudy. Read. B. Hello? Hello, Beth. Is that you? Yes, who is it? It's me, Trudy. Are you busy? No, not at the moment. Are you at work? No, I'm not working today. It's my day off. How's your new life on the farm? Perfect. We both love it here. Good. How's Tom? Not bad. He's busy today. He's watering the flowers. What about your new apartment? It's almost ready. We're spending a lot of time there these days. Damon is fixing things, I'm cleaning, and the kids are... <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm watching Tom. What's he doing? He's chasing Daisy around the field. Who's Daisy and why is he chasing her? Because we need some milk. Daisy's our cow, you see. Okay, let's listen again, and then we're going to compare if we have new words, words that you don't understand. You have to tell me in order to say in Spanish the meaning. Read. B. Hello? Hello, Beth. Is that you? Yes, who is it? It's me, Trudy. Are you busy? No, not at the moment. Are you at work? No, I'm not working today. It's my day off. How's your new life on the farm? Perfect. We both love it here. Good. How's Tom? Not bad. He's busy today. He's watering the flowers. What about your new apartment? It's almost ready. We're spending a lot of time there these days. Damon is fixing things, I'm cleaning, and the kids are... <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm watching Tom. What's he doing? He's chasing Daisy around the field. Who's Daisy and why is he chasing her? Because we need some milk. Daisy's our cow, you see. Ok, according to the reading activity, why is she loving? Primero que nada, ¿qué significa loving? Love, el verbo love. Love. El verbo love, students. No love. Love, love, love. Let me write it here. Love. What does it mean that verb? The verb love. 
Reír. Sonreír, reír, ajá, recajearse. Entonces, ¿por qué se está riendo la chica? ¿Por qué se ríe la chica? Primero que nada, palabras nuevas que no entiendan aquí. Palabras nuevas que no entiendan. We have hello, hello, Beth. Beth es un nombre, la abreviación de Betty. Is that you? Yes, who is it? ¿Quién es? It's me, Trudy. Are you busy? ¿Saben el significado de busy? Are you busy? busy? Yes or no? You know what is busy? No. ¿Cuál? Busi. Busi. Ocupado. 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 Ocupada. Muy bien. Ocupado. Ocupada. O oh, solo los puse por ahí. Ejemplo, para todos. Control C. Todos en la reunión. Control Ok, busy. Ocupado. Ocupada. ¿Qué más? Tenemos ahora eh, my day off. Day off. What does it mean day off? Somebody know it? Day off, día libre. ¿Sí? Farm. You know what is farm? Farm. Alguien que sepa el significado de farm. Eso es, creo que granja. ¿Sorry? Granja, no. Granja, granja ajá. Granja, campo. Granja más que todo. Granja. Eso tenemos eh, Zenon's Farm. La granja de Zenon. Zenon's Farm. Ok. Perfect. We won't love it here. Good house, Tom. Not bad. He's busy today. He's watering the flowers. What is watering the flowers? La vez pasada yo les decía qué significaba el word of water. Watering the flowers. What does he mean? Si water es agua. Agua, algo así. Regar. ¿Ah? Perdón. Regar las plantas. Regar. Las regar. Flores. En este caso, regar las flores. He is watering the flores. Él está regando las plantas. What about your new apartment? It's almost ready. We are spending a lot of time there these days. Damon is fixing things. I am cleaning and the kids are, hey, why are you loving? I'm sorry, I am watching Tom. What's he doing? He's chasing, el verbo chase. El verbo chase. Ahí está en el chat. What is chase? Chase es perseguir, ¿sí? Perseguir. So he is chasing Daisy around the fire. Who's Daisy and why is he chasing her? Because we need some meat and Daisy is our cow, you see? Ok, ¿entendido hasta allí? Entonces, la, what, what is the answer to the question? Why is she lowing? Why is she lowing, students? ¿Por qué se está riendo? Porque está viendo I watching Tom, dice. Ajá, uh -huh. she is watching Tom. She's watching Tom doing what? What is Tom doing? What is Tom doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Tom? Está persiguiendo. In English, you have the answer. He is chasing Daisy around the field. She's chasing Daisy around the field. What is fire? Around the field, sorry. Field, campo. See? ¿Sí? Campo. Okay. So, read again and answer the question. Who's Beth talking to? Why isn't Judy working today? Where do Beth and Tom live? What's Tom doing today? Who is fixing things in the new apartment? Who is Daisy? Ok. Tomen las respuestas. Háganle una foto. No sé cómo le hacen. Igual, este, si háganle una foto de momento. 
y les responden aquí en el chat en un sol, una sola respuesta. Ya no es necesario que escriban de nuevo la pregunta. Uno y la respuesta, dos la respuesta y le envían todo en un solo texto, ¿sí? Aquí en el chat, por favor. ¿Regreso a la lectura o, o suficiente? Sí, por favor, a la lectura. Ya, ya le tomaron foto a las preguntas. Sí. Ok, aquí vamos. Here we go. Ok, you have five minutes to answer those questions, ok? Don't forget to write here in the chat, please, okay? Don't forget to write here in the chat, the answers, in just one message. You finish? Okay, let's analyze together. Who's bet talking to? Who's bet talking to? On Daisy. Okay, she's talking to Tudi. Tudi, Daisy is a cow. Daisy is a cow. Uh, why isn't Tudi working today? Why isn't Trudy working today? Nobody? Why isn't Trudy working today? ¿Por qué, está, ¿Por qué no está trabajando hoy Trudy? Because. ¿Por qué no está trabajando Trudy? Ok, vamos a regresar a la lectura. ¿sí? Ok, perfect. That is the answer. Because it's her day off. Number three. Where do Beth and Tom live? Where do Tom and Beth live? Where do Beth and Tom live? They live on a farm. What's Tom doing today? He's watering the flowers. Who's fixing things in the new apartment? Damon is fixing things in the new apartment. Who's Daisy? Daisy is Beth and Tom's cow. Okay, aquí, here in the grammar part, we have read the tables and the rule. We uh, analyze again the formation of the present progressive. Remember that we were checking this in the first week. Uh, the formation of the present progressive. We use the present progressive. We use the present progressive for actions that are happening at the moment of, of the speaking or for temporary situations, as well as I told you. You are going to use, I am eating, she's eating, he's eating, it's eating. Uh, we are ready, 
you are eating and they are eating. Okay, what is the formation? First of all, we're going to write the subject. Remember that uh, in English, we cannot omit the subject. The subject must be always into the sentence. What are the subjects? I, he, she, it, we, you, they, Camilo, Peter, Andres, uh, Maria, they are the subject. So the subject, then the conjugation of the verb to be, and then the verb plus ing. This is the formation of the present progressive, okay? Here, as you can see, you have the question and the short answer form. Okay, here we have, again, more uh, rules, more exercises in order to check the formation of the present progress. Okay, in spelling, uh, most verbs take ing. La mayoría de los verbos toman la ing, ¿no? Por ejemplo, talk, talking. Verbs ending in E, drop the letter E before the ING, come, coming. What uh, does it mean, this second rule? That you have to disappear the letter E in the last part, and you add ING. Verbs with one syllable ending in one vowel, plus no consonant, do all the consonant before the ING. For example, stop, stopping. Verbs with two or more syllables ending in one stressed vowel, one consonant, double the consonant before the I and E. Begin, beginning, okay? Verbs ending in I, E, change I, E to Y before the I and E. Lie, lying. Okay? Complete the dialogues with the present progressive of the verbs in parentheses. Give your answer where possible. Uh, completamos aquí mismo en clase, ¿sí? So, the number one we have. Sally, where are the kids? Letter B, they are in the chair. The letter A, what? Complete the letter A, what? Nobody? They. They, wow. profe. What? Are they doing? What I de what are they doing? What are they doing? They 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 are Watching TV. Watching. Watching, TV. watching. But it's a question. It's a question. Es una pregunta. ¿Qué va primero? What? Do. No. ¿Qué va primero? Are. What? Are. 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 No, they, la forma negativa, la forma negativa, the short, the short negative answer. No, they. Are. Are. Are, are muy bien. They. They. They are listening. They are listening, muy bien. George, why? Why? We are you uh, low? ¿Cómo es low? Why are you lowing? Why are you lowing? Resuelvan las otras chicas. Resuelvan de una vez en su documento. Ingeniero, buenas tardes. Disculpe, ¿dónde está el documento? Ah, oh. oh, perdón, no les he pasado. Entre, no, no, les he, sí, no, les he, no les he subido aún a Moodle. Ah, este, ok. Eh, sí, háganle capture y, y después ya lo resuelven ahí en el documento, sí. Ok, vamos resolviendo juntos entonces. Well, look at Molly. Where is she? What? What? What, uh, what is? Is she doing? Is Over she there, doing? she? Is dancing. She's dancing. dancing, ok. Simon, is, what? Is dancing. What are you reading? What are you reading? The newspaper. Uh, I... I am not reading. 
the newspaper. I, I am a student. I am studying. Okay, perfect. Okay, read the following words and underline the two syllables, then listen and check. Escuchamos las palabras y vamos a subrayar pues, donde encontremos la mayor eh, pronunciación, ¿no? B. Garage. Restaurant. Upset. Italy. Because. Teenager. Italian. Window. B. Garage. Restaurant. Upset. Italy. Because. Teenager. Italian. Window. Okay, where is the, where is the stress syllable here in garage? Where is the stress syllable? ¿Cuál es la sílaba más fuerte? Garage. Garage. Ash. Uh -huh. Restaurant. Restaurant. Rest. Rest. Ok. Upset. Up. Ok. Up. Up. okay. Italy. E. 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 Uh -huh. Because. 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 Uh -huh. no. Teenager. Teen. Teen. Ok.